Hey everybody, what's up? It is Jeffrey and the Rushes, and I am very tired this morning. Well, let's get right into this video, actually. So today, um, this is my work in progress piston now, so you just have a little sample right here, and of course, you always need swappable lighting. And I will be showing you today how to build a very awesome, um, well, not that. It's a little bit too much. <laughs> I didn't have that much time to actually build it. <clears throat> this right here. So this is a armor swapper. Not like this though. It's something a little bit different. It's a conveyor belt that will swap between a lot more. So <clears throat> I guess I'll just get in on Showing you how to build this. It's pretty straightforward so far. Buttons, slabs, it's actually really easy to build. Oh, wait, it's already open. Anyways, but close this right back up. And back into our outer world right here. This is a little bit of a bigger version, and if you wanted it to go over and over, then you can just literally connect all the redstone together. But I will be showing you how to build one that just swaps between one. Just like this. So the materials that you'll need is a piston. Just a normal piston. Four of them. Some redstone. And I'm doing this in Bedrock. I would imagine it works in Java too. If it doesn't, just let me know in the comments. <coughs> And I'll just note in the description that it is not. So you need uh, four repeaters. And then last but not least, well, two, last but not least is, oh my gosh. But we need glazed terracotta. I'm just going to use light blue. And also honey block. So let's get right in on building this. And you also need one stone button. And did I really forget to mention you want 64 blocks of your choice? So I'm just gonna grab um, some stone bricks. <coughs> so first of all, what you want to start off doing is going in another world so I don't mess up my piston house world. All right, so now I am in my other piston house world. So. We should be able to do this now. And yeah, there's really nothing I need to close up, so back up. And we are out. So since this is in a super flat world, I did summon in a bunch of grass. Don't worry about it. <laughs> But, um, so what we actually need to do is get the materials again. Hi, I'm back. Bedrock made it to where you cannot save toolbars. I don't agree with this. Try it. Give me. What does that even have on it? I. Well, let's just get right into this. So first of all, what you want to do is place your first piston just like this. And however big you actually want this to be, I'm going to be using... You need an unmovable block, so I'm going to be using my city. Um, you build obsidian where you actually want your conveyor belt to be. So, we can just get her right to the just build around just like this. <coughs> and you will have a successful, um, successfully working, um, conveyor belt by the time you have finished this video, so. First piston on here, like, one away from your obsidian. You just want it just like that. And then another one. 
just like this one, about one away from the obsidian facing this way. And then another one, just like this, facing like that, towards over here, and then one more right on top of that block. And then you are almost done. So all that you need now is set some repeaters on a four tick delay. Forgot I'm not using my texture pack. <laughs> I was like, hey, why does this stuff all look normal? And I realized, hey, I'm not using my texture back. Well, no, I know. And we are just going to build a right above these pistons. I must note that um, you will need to connect the pistons directly in Java. You can't just um, actually lead it over because if you, in Bedrock, you can actually place blocks on top of pistons like redstone and it won't go away after you actually extend and retract the piston. So all that you need to do is connect all of this and break um, where you want your button to be. So if I broke one piece of redstone right there and then over here you replace your button right there. And you can see that the command belt will work in just a sliding motion. And then all that you need to do is place a pattern of, well you actually need to get the conveyor belt going in a circuit first. So break all this and place your stone button and do that. And start um, placing your pattern just like this. And do this until like either one of them messes up or it actually rotates. I'm just going to keep doing this over and over. And then you should stop now, right when you see that it gets right there. And now disconnect one of your pieces of redstone. You will have two of these. It's honestly okay. Or else it would probably mess up. So you just take your button, place it, and it will rotate once. And this redstone will just stop right here. And uh, make sure that your button is a stone button, unless if you want um, it to actually go around two times. Like, if this block was right here, it would go one, two. For a stone button, it would go one. So, you can see. <coughs> and now, I'm just going to place my armor stands. Now, I made a pretty big one. You can make it. Um, pretty small. It just needs to be enough where you can put repeaters in there. And make sure that your repeaters are all set to four ticks. So it's not too fast, nor too slow. But if you do want a fast transition, then I guess you can set it to one tick. I have not tried this, so... Yeah, it doesn't work. So it needs to be on four ticks delay for all of them for all the pistons to actually push them at the same exact time. So now it should just, you should be able to press your button. It will swap between all of your armors that you have placed on these things. I usually just uh, make a leather closet with a diamond and all that stuff. Um, and anyways, that's pretty much it. If you would like to know more, um, you can list your designs in the comments if you would like me to build something very interesting. And, um, yeah, I'm signing off, I guess. So, um, I'll see you guys next time. This has been AK Thrashes. Well, otherwise, Jeffrey. And I will see you in the next one! That was kind of lame. Let's try that again. I will see you in the next one.